<sighs> Before this video gets started, I am tired of spending money trying to lose weight. <laughs> it never gets to the root of the problem. I'm gonna tell you, over the years, let me tell you what I got. Oprah, 1992, VHS, even she gained some of that. Weight Watchers, twice I made it to Lifetime. Walking videos, you know how many, hey, Billy whatever, is Billy Blanks, I had him, I couldn't even do him because he was hard. But walk, I got two. I had more than this. Weights. I couldn't bring them all up. <laughs> I didn't even lift them. This right here, I found this. What is it? Can somebody tell me what this is? Then I got yoga. I use the yoga block, so. Then we got the yoga mat. And I'm going to show you something else. The step on. <laughs> Ask me how many times I used it. I'm telling you, commercialism. I'm tired. I'm sick and tired of being tired. So empty, so welcome to BJ's Five. Y'all come back every Friday, and I am so grateful for all my subscribers and the ones that watch me. I thank you from the bottom of my heart, and all your thumbs up and all your comments. I thank you so much. And looking at my playlist from beginning to end, y'all are showing out. I like to say that y'all are showing out. And tonight at BJ Spot, we're gonna look at my body a little bit. I'm gonna lift it, okay? I'm gonna lift it. I gotta pull it up because it's a little B. Here's my honey. And you know my waist is always kind of like the same. Okay. No, you know, no changes. Okay, no changes. I can say that, but I still look cute. I still look cute. But tonight, we gonna be talking about all the money I have spent on trying to lose weight. Okay? And I know you spend a lot. Okay? Weight Watchers. Uh, Jenny Craig following Oprah, like I said in the intro. <laughs> but we are going to talk about that tonight, and we're going to get to the root of the problem. And the root of the problem is very simple, and you know the answer, but I'm not telling you right now, and you won't stick around for that. Okay? And you know what we do. Oh, yes. We can. get this evening started. What got me started on this, I was looking through Dr. Bert Heron's book, The Power, let me make sure I get it, The Power of Appetite Correction. And he was talking about, which I died laughing, about advertisements, how we spend so much money on diet products to lose weight. And they never get to the root of the problem, okay? We have surgery, we have diet pills, we have shapewear, we have so many things. 
But why do we remain overweight? Because they never get to the root of the problem. And they are relentless too. You see it on TV. Even when you go to the doctor office. Or even when I call. They'll say if your BMI is 30. Whatever. Yeah 30 is the overweight right? And they say that you can have weight loss surgery. I could not believe that. And we just give them money. Give them money. Give them money. And it's a shame that they make money off of our misfortune. Okay? And he even talked about the treadmill. And I really didn't want to say this because I know somebody do the treadmill all the time. <laughs> and Dr. Burt, she could blame it on him. On him. He said, if we cut that food, we wouldn't have to have any of this. <laughs> And we still remain overweight because we are not addressing the problem. And that is overeating. We got to cut those calories. And if you want more money in your pockets, and why should we make them rich off of our misfortune? It's not just the advertisers, it's also the medical community. They want to take our stomach and make it the size of a jawbreaker. But that's not going to do anything because what happens? Most of the time when we eat, we are not hungry. So what's going to happen to them? They are going to feel full, but they still going to eat right through that operation. And it has been shown and it has been done over and over. But I just wanted to bring that up tonight. Before I end this, I'm going to ask you two questions. And I'm going to read them because I want to make sure I get it right. Dr. Bird, he's going to be down in the description bar too. And he says, the first question, why does your preference to eat less fail to keep you from overeating? That's a good question. The second one is, what is it that you're fighting when you lose this willpower battle? Those are two good. Ask yourself that. I got to ask myself that. So I don't spend another penny on the advertisements or to the medical community for being overweight. But those are good questions. And I am so glad that you came tonight. And, you know, we talk a little bit about the advertisements and why we're still remaining heavy. Because we still overeat. <laughs> okay. I am Betty J. Gathers, daughter of Jean Grey at BJ Spot. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Comment. Okay, and play my playlist. And I will see you again. Don't take it personal. I ain't lying. I ain't hiding. I've been grinding, multiplying. I've been trying to get my way